Com Rocho. No better place for a night out. A neon city. But the brighter the lights, the darker the shadows. The whole town's run by the toughest Yakuza family out there. The Tojo clan. And the deeper you dig, the more interesting things get. More dangerous, too. Take this burglary ring. Just a bunch of kids looking for kicks. Word is, they met on some sketchy website. Never even seen each other's faces. As for the cops, they can't catch a single one. The only thing anyone really cares about in Kamurocho these days, though, is the murders. Over three months, three Kansai Yakuza have turned up dead. Most think it's the Tojo clan making some kind of power move in the ongoing turf war. This one's missing its eyes, too. That's not the only thing, though. All three of them were missing their eyes. It's in one little corner of this city that I run a detective agency. I work alongside my partner, Kaito-san. Funny enough, he's ex-Tojo. And me? I'm Takayuki Yagami. Used to be a lawyer, but I put that life behind me three years ago. As for my badge, it's barely even a decoration at this point. Here, I'll scrounge up the rest for you later. What about your cut? I'll get it eventually. All of this goes to the client. Gotcha. Anyway, I'm gonna swing by Genda Sensei's place, see if he's got any work. Don't hold your breath. For a lawyer's office, things are slow as shit over there. Uh, you're aware they're one of our best clients, right? Yeah, yeah, I know you used to work there and all. But don't show up empty-handed. Here, buy him some sweets or something. At least go through the motions. So generous. My boy's all grown up. Don't mention it, Dad. Now get going. What's up? What it is? What it do? Yeah, we back with another... Uh, I'm about to say Assassin's Creed, goddammit. Why? Anyway, now we back with another judgment video for you. Yo... Oh, hold on. What's, what's, uh, you know what? Nope. I ain't playing that because... Copy. I hear they've got some extra fancy dorayaki at the Popo over on Tenkaichi Street. Even come in a box. Huh? Thank you. Well, Genda Sensei's got a pretty big sweet tooth. If you get me. Right. I'll go pick some up. Alright. Like we got some different outfits and stuff we can uh, choose too. Alright, so we going to the stove. And then we going to our old... Lawyer office we used to work at. Well, now what? What did he say? Oh, it's right there. It's already on the map. What I say, boy, it's like so many places I can't go. It's ridiculous. Alright, 
slide. All right, so if I am mistaken, the way I sprint in Yakuza is I, put, I press down the left trigger. On this one, you gotta hit A. It's slightly different. It threw me off a second. Oh snap, man! We got some brothers in here. Yo, man, what's up, Cuzzo? Where you come from, bro? How you get over here? What made you decide? You know how to speak Japanese, B? Probably don't. This is what he told me to get? That's the only thing I can buy. I'm about well. Arigato gozaimasu. Boss, well, the music that's playing in the shop right now, but not pick up on uh, YouTube people's so they can try to demonetize my shit. Hold on there, pal. You just bought some of them Doriaki, yeah? Sorry, but they're mine now. Uh, are they? Look, I've been after one of those things for days now. You just bought the last fucking box. Can't stand for that, right, boys? Wow. Well, can't argue with that logic. What was that, smartass? Oh, bro, we about to push great hands on y'all boys. Oh, we going out to the big tall one. What is this? Wall jump and wall stride. You can perform a wall jump by pressing eight. To sprint toward a wall on top of uh, on top of being able to wall strike by pressing X, you can also perform YB attacks or uh, even okay, yeah, yeah. What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? you little punk ass leader you got right here. Uh, watch me put hands on your boy. Nah, you ain't getting off that easy, bro. How did I miss that? There we go. Oh, we're in the middle of the fight. Okay. Finish them off though. Dog, I wanted to see if I can get the finisher up, but I guess I didn't. It's all good. Oh, y'all hear y'all hear the man body just bloop bloop down the stairs, man. <coughs> Damn you! Have you had enough? Hey! Always getting into trouble. <sighs> Captain Hamara. Talk here doesn't start shit without a real good reason. And that means it was you. You dumbasses jumped the wrong guy. Uh, no. Uh, you know this guy's like a son to the Matsugani patriarch, right? Uh, know what I'm trying to say, asshole? Hey, come on, Cap. Can't we just let it be? No can do. This right here just became a matter of Matsugane family honor. I'm sorry. <laughs> Kengo, you haven't met our buddy Tak here, have you? He's a guy you want to know. Hot shot detective type. Right. It's good to meet you. The boss paid his way through law school back in the day. Made him into a damn good attorney. Guy even managed to get a bona fide serial killer off the hook. Seriously? Wow, that's incredible. <laughs> right? Damn shame seeing talent like that go to waste. Huh, totally! <laughs> get this, though. The first thing that killer did when he got loose? Stabbed his girlfriend to death. Can you believe that? 
Oh, damn. <laughs> yep. Guy got the death penalty and everything. They get around to hanging his ass, Tuck. Not yet, no. Oh, what the hell's taking him so long? Here. This is the money from that detective. The rest is yours. I already took my cut. Good. You're finally getting the hang of this whole debt collecting thing. Yeah, thanks to you. Hmm. Anyway, how's Kaito? Fine. You mind asking him something? How long's he gonna stick around? Not wise to stay in town after you get kicked out of the family. But, uh... I can look the other way, since the boss likes you so much. Speaking of, how's Matsugane-san doing? None of your damn business, I'd say. Come on, let's go. Feel like old boy gonna be trouble? I don't know, man. He just, might, he just, might, he might just be loyal to the family. Uh, we gonna see how they're gonna play out. Well, I'm going now, anyway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. Okay, that's different. I ain't never had that happen on Yakuza, man. So if you take too long to beat that ass, you know, the cops will come and arrest everybody. Man, that's different right there. I like that. All right. Well, I'm here. Yo, bro, I ain't got time for y'all, son. Hey there, sorry son. Look, Dorayaki. Extra fancy. Genda Law Office, where I used to work. Things haven't changed much these past three years. Hello, Yagami-san. Oh, hey, I didn't see you there. You, uh, getting situated? Yes. Everyone here is just great. So I hear you're good. Pass the bar with top marks and everything. <laughs> How'd you end up in this dump and not in a bigger office, huh? Huh? Well, you see, that's... Uh... I hear you over there, no. Yagami. Evening, Genda sensei Other than my real dad, there's two people I look up to like a father. Genda sensei is one of those people. He gave me a job here, before I'd even gotten out of law school. Shintani Sensei out for the night? Uh, I can't keep track of that boy. I'm sure you're happy though. You don't have to deal with him. Huh? You two can't stand each other. You hate each other's guts. Be honest with me here. Uh, hold on now. Shintani's like a mentor to me. So, about that job you have. If you really want that job, you're gonna have to get along. So show your senpai a little more respect. Oh, Genda Sensei. I got you some dorayaki. Just sit right there. I'll grab you one. Huh? <clears throat> Sorry? Did you eat them all? All but half. Hope you don't mind.
Oh, she's savage, bro. And she ate them shits quick as hell. Say, sorry, son. Got any work lined up for me? Nope. Oh, ain't you just cutting down right now? I know you're looking for work, Yagami-san, but asking you for favors feels strange. Not I'm gonna get paid, my nigga. Like, yo, ask away. What that pay like? So, what are the chances you've got some work for me, Genda-sensei? Work, huh? How long are you gonna keep doing this to yourself, Yagami? You know how dangerous this city is. Wouldn't be many cases for me if Kamurocho was a safe place. Uh-huh. Cases like collecting debt for the Yakuza? Hey, better that than no work at all, am I right? You call that detective work? You're practically a mercenary. Fine by me. I was never too hung up on being a detective anyway. Listen, Yagami. Yeah? You ever thought about becoming a lawyer again? I haven't. And why is that? Take a good look at me, Genda Sensei. Mm hmm? These eyes aren't exactly the best judge of character. I think I made that clear three years ago. What use am I as a lawyer if I can't tell good from bad? Knock it off, Yagami. Stop beating yourself up. What happened to Emmy was tragic, yes, but it wasn't your fault. It doesn't matter whose fault it is. I never want to deal with something like that again. So, have any work for me? A guy's got to stay busy, you know? Keeps me distracted from Emmy Chan and all that. It doesn't matter what you've got, just give me something. <sighs> How about a divorce case? I have some evidence that needs collecting. It'll be the usual deal. Stake out a love hotel, snap some photos, tail the guy, dig through some trash. You in? I'm in. A job's a job. Oh, I give up. I'll send you the details later. And next time, don't bring a gift, you hear? Doesn't feel right taking them from guys too broke to pay for them. Anything you say. Ah, that's it. Genta Law Office. Yes. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yagami-san, that was Shintani-sensei. Hmm? Apparently, he wants your help gathering evidence for a murder. Huh? Since when are we working a murder case? This is the first I've heard of it, too. Go give Shintani a hand, Yagami. This blows that divorce I was gonna send you on out of the water. Been years since we had a murder case. Shintani-sensei says he's waiting for you at Tender, that bar on Taihei Boulevard. Tender? I'm there all the time. Just making sure. Making sure what? You out here keeping tabs on me? Alright, I guess we're going to Tinder. Not a dating app, it's a fucking bar, bro. Alright. Next group of thugs come my way, bro. We put nans on them. Oh, for real. Scenes or nothing like that, on you get straight into the action. What you want to do out here, power? Okay, you out here powering up. What a waste. My man was out here powering up, bro, like he was gonna do something. You see me lay your peoples out, man. Why you thought the outcome was gonna be different for you?
It's called Tender. Got my first job here 20 years back. Masuda-san never changes. Running a bar must keep you young. Hey, Tuck. Shintani-sensei's in the back. Great. We've got some business to talk. <laughs> surprised to see me? I'd be more surprised if I didn't. Who's that talk? A detective buddy? Not exactly, Mari. This one's a client. Won't be your client for long if you don't show up on time. You're late. Come on, you called me here totally out of the blue. Chill out, maybe. Huh, and I'm getting a drink. And I'm paying? Let's call it a business expense. Here's a familiar face. Kyohei Hamura, from the Matsugane family. I ran into him earlier, actually. Take it he's your client? Yep. Got hauled in earlier. They're charging him with murder. Seriously? Seriously. So, the Matsugane Patriarch came to us for his defense. Genda-sensei is the go-to guy for all his legal problems, you know? How'd you end up in the driver's seat, then? Genda-sensei gave him my card. Gotta say, not looking forward to defending a Yakuza. Tough luck, I guess. Anyway, you're coming with me to the station. Need to have a word with Hamura. You got way more Yakuza experience than me, after all. Yeah, suppose I do. Let me give you a rundown of the case first. The victim was a Yakuza. A Kansai guy, part of the Kyore clan. They found his body tossed in a dumpster just about a week ago. Hold on. This is... The guy who got his eyes gouged out? Yep. Cops think Hamura is the one who did it. Hell of a case, man. This is the third Yakuza they've found like this. Fortunately, we're not dealing with a triple homicide here. So the media isn't swarming. Hmm? Hammer's got an alibi for the first two incidents. His third murder is the only one they're pinning on him. So they won't admit the cases are connected? No. Makes sense. Three bodies and not a single suspect isn't exactly given the cops credibility. Guess they just want to get this case closed and move on. Even if they have to force it through. And hey, the victim was Yakuza. Nobody really cares who hangs for it. Why'd they come after Hamura, of all people? Two reasons. First, the victim was a Kansai Yakuza from a group that's been making inroads in Kamurocho and picking fights with the Tojo clan along the way. Odds are this was a Tojo guy wanting to send a message. And as you know, Hamura fits the bill. And the other reason? Hamura and the victim were seen having a fight on the day of the crime. I'm guessing there's security camera footage, then. Has Hamura said anything to you? Yeah. He told me he didn't do it. Claimed the cops were falsely accusing him. So he insists he's innocent, huh? You think Hamra really killed him? Just curious. I don't know. And I don't really care. If he says he's innocent, I gotta prove he's innocent. That's my job. I think
think I know enough. We should get to the station. You go on ahead. I got some calls to make first. Just take a cab there. Will do. Hey, yo, you gonna give me money to say a cab, my guy? Case files, uh, okay, case file is an app installed on Young Gumbers phones. It automatically sorts and organizes information. Check this out whenever you're not sure what to do next. Case files are particularly handy when you want to progress the story. You can also check what you need to do for, say, uh, for side cases as well. Main cases, you can check the people, evidence, and details concerning the main story. Whenever a main case's category is updated, uh, will be displayed next to it. Side case, you can check the personal evidence, the personnel, the evidence, and details concerning your various side cases. Whenever a side case's uh, category is updated, it will be displayed next to it. The last permission point. Leaving already, talk, and only one drink in. What can I say? I'm a busy man. Funny you should say that. Another customer of mine has a job for you. I'll tell you about it when you're not so swamped, okay? Hey, I'm not about to pass up a paying gig. Then come back when you and Shintani Sensei are done. Alright, you know what, Eric? We're gonna go ahead, we're gonna uh, end this one right here. We almost up to 30 minutes. Um stuff seem to be moving pretty fast man we are already on the murder case is already with another yakuza who's uh part of the family of the one of the patriarchy is uh pretty much like a father father for uh, food i can't god damn it bro tongue twisted like a motherfucker it's like a father figure it's our main protagonist right here so uh shit get deep real quick right like things is, is really coming at you super quick but that's cool uh, look like we got some skill points and stuff. I might take the time and um, see what little side stuff I can get into. Kind of upgrade my dude. Might do some side quests. If there's some available before we get into the second portion of this one. Going and talking to buddy at the uh, jail station, man. Other than that, I ain't really got nothing else to say. Until the next video. Deuces. Peace. My. Yo.